Uh, I, I went to college in, in CU Boulder in Colorado, and uh, my girlfriend at the time was a host at this brew pub. I was 19, uh, and they needed a guy to work in the brewery. So I went downstairs and, and interviewed with the brewer, and I first started by just putting labels on the bottle, one at a time, front, back, neck, and I would just build packaging for, for hours. Uh, and then I, we, I built this uh, forehead bottle filler um, with Bill, the brewer, and I'd start, you know, four bottles at a time down in the basement of the Oasis uh, until finally one of the other brewers was out. They needed a fill-in in the, in the mash ton, and so I just started. I milled in. The next day I was mashing in and started right from the, from the ground. Um, in early 1991, uh, the brewing scene in Boulder, Colorado was just beginning and all these great brewers had started, uh, New Belgium and Odell's and um, there was a bunch that came and gone since then. Uh, but the Oasis Brewery is a small brew pub and I got a real a real grasp of brewing from the, from the ground up and uh, being able to, to, to learn in that capacity was great. I mean, I was a college student, I was 19 working in a brewery, it was fantastic. Um, I had Hodgkin's disease in, when I was 21, which is a, a, a lymphoma, and I had treatment in Boulder, and then I came back home uh, to recoup and just kind of start over uh, and to figure out where I wanted to be. I started working at the Sea Dog Brewing Company in Camden, I was the head brewer there for two or three years. And while I was at the Sea Dog, it was a, a different type of brewery, it was an English style brewery, a Peter Austin system uh, set up by Alan Pugsley. Uh, Ringwood Ale Yeast, it was just a totally different way of producing beer that I was used to. Um, so I had two styles of beer that I knew how to make, um, or two um, traditional operational styles of beer. Um, and I learned how to manage a brewery and the operations of a, of a brewery, uh, and the business and the people, everything that I really enjoyed. So I s put my sights on opening up a brew pub called Savega Brewing Company, because I grew up on Savega Lake. Um, and I had the brewing knowledge, but I wanted to figure out how to bring the whole brew pub situation together. So I worked at Chili's at the main mall, and uh, corporate restaurants are a great place to learn how to manage restaurants and learn how uh, systems work, and that's where I met my partners, Brad and Tim. Great guys, hard workers. Uh, when you work with somebody in a restaurant environment, you really get to know them as, as their work ethic, you know, their ability to handle stress, um, how much fun they like to have, and we like to have a lot of fun, so it really, it really worked well. Uh, we opened our first brew pub in 98, and ever since then we've, we've gotten better, we've grown, we have always like to have a good time. When we first started, we, you know, Brad and Tim and I were kind of on this tear. We opened up three brew pubs in, in just that many years. And so all of a sudden, when you have a management crew that we had, we always wanted to provide opportunity for growth in their careers. Um, and John and Tom, uh, our brewers, you know, they wanted some opportunity to grow. And so where are you guys going? What are you doing? How am I going to grow you know, in my career? Um, and so we were growing rapidly to create jobs for people. I mean, literally, like I'm saying, I'm just saying, we wanted to make sure we maintained and we were on a viable company that people would come to. Now, I guess, uh, our challenge right now is, is, is growth. And I don't like growth for growth's sake because, you know, then you're just buying things to catch up. I, I, I can't stand that. I like to set up a plan and kind of work off that and, and set some goals for people. It's just, it makes it a lot easier for, we have 150 employees, so we just got to make sure everyone's in the loop. We will never sell this company. We'll have some baby forever. And we've, you know, been asked that. Oh, you guys know, gonna sell out? Well, that's not really part of our you know, plan. Our plan is to stick with it, and grow the business, and have so they be lazy. Maybe our kids will own it. That'd be great. You know, and continue growing the beer. How could that be all for naught? All that, all the work and the people and the energy, and have it just disappear, it's, or be sold to some aggregate brewer? That's not part of the plan. I mean, I know how challenging it is uh, on a business end and on a brewery end. And, uh, if we're going to lift the whole craft beer industry, we can't all put up barriers and not communicate to each other. We got, we have to work together in, in many capacities. I mean, I'm sure on the street, and sh shelf space and draft line, I mean, there is this competition there. But you know, when we're doing a lot of um, 
research and development, or we're talking about different issues that we have going on, we'll call up Ali Ash, or we'll call up the guys at Greens and, and call them and talk about some of the problems we have. I, I like to drink beer and I like to hang out with people and talk about you know business and talk about craft beer and talk about you know theories of, of both. Um, I just think you do what you love and everything else will follow. Just work hard and, and work hard at it and make, keep quality paramount uh, and stick to it. That's so important. We always offer it. Come see us at the brewery. Come see us in the brew pubs. Uh, come taste our beers. We'd love to share them with you.